beauties welcome to my channel i'm zoya day a licensed esthetician and this is d's beauty room your number one source for professional skincare advice product knowledge and esthetician tips thank you guys so much for tuning into my video if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell and let's get started so in today's video i'm going to go step by step on how to properly cleanse your face it's important to know how to properly cleanse your face because not only does it help treat any skin concerns it also helps to remove any dirt oil sebum makeup and bad bacteria from off of the skin and you want to make sure you're cleansing your skin at least one to two times a day every day now you can definitely change up you know how you cleanse and we'll talk about that a little later in the video and i'll also give you a few tips and pointers to keep in mind as you cleanse your face so let's get started with the video so the first step in properly cleansing your face is you want to know your skin type so I do have a video that I can link in the description box to help you get a better understanding of your skin type or you can go see a licensed esthetician for a proper skin analysis and I know right now it's a little hard to go and see an esthetician because we are in the middle of a pandemic but I know there are a few estheticians that are providing online skin consultations so you can look up your favorite esthetician and see see if they're offering any or you can find one in your state or you can head over to Instagram and see if you can find one that meets your needs and your requirements. So now that you have a better understanding of your skin type and what your skin needs, we can go on to step number two, which is finding a good cleanser. So it is very important to make sure that you have a cleanser that best suits your skin type and your skin needs. Also be cautious of the active ingredients and make sure that there are no ingredients that are harmful to your skin or your skin type. Type. and I definitely will be talking more in depth of ingredients in skincare products how to understand the back of a product label and all of that fun stuff so make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything so my step number three is definitely one I feel like a lot of people forget or kind of don't really think is important and that is washing your hands before you touch your face now people think just because they're already you know they're going to be dealing with soap and water that that's okay for them to just go in and touch their skin which is not the case at all you definitely want to make sure you wash your hands before you touch your face because you'll be transferring any germs or bacteria that are on your hands and under your nails onto your skin which pretty much defeats the purpose of cleansing your skin in the first place with the whole coronavirus and everything going around i'm pretty sure we all know how to wash our hands by now the whole 20 second rule you definitely still want to implement the same rules when washing your hands before you wash your face all right, so now I'm going to demonstrate and walk you through how to properly cleanse your skin. So let's get started. So step four is to wet your face and you want to make sure that the water is a nice lukewarm comfortable temperature now that your face is nice and wet we can go into step five which is washing your face you want to make sure you apply the cleanser to your fingertips and lather then evenly distribute the cleanser all over your face using your fingertips and circular motions now you want to make sure you're cleansing your face for at least 45 seconds to a minute and what that does is allows the active ingredients in the cleanser to start to work and penetrate the skin you're giving it time to actually treat and cleanse the skin properly don't forget to get your neck and decollete i didn't go down to my decollete because i was getting in the shower right after now keep in mind to be gentle there's no need to press the product in the skin or be overly aggressive when cleansing because if you cleanse for the recommended number of seconds, then the active ingredients are gonna do the work for you. Now we can go into step six and that is washing off the cleanser. Once again, make sure the water temperature is lukewarm or a comfortable temperature for your skin. And then you're going to go ahead and pat your face with a clean towel or a paper towel, but make sure it's clean. You don't want to use, you know, a dirty towel on a clean face because you're pretty much just putting bacteria back on clean skin, which defeats the purpose of you cleansing your face. Now, the towel I have and that I use is only for drying my face. That's the only thing it's ever used for. Now, step seven is to finish your skincare routine. Now, this is a good time to apply any type of sheet mask, serums, or essence that you might have for your skin. After you wash your face, 
base you definitely don't want to wait too long in between to start applying your serums or toner or anything like that just because it can cause the skin to start to get dry or if you're more on the oily side then you might start to overproduce oils because your skin isn't getting the hydration it needs right after you cleanse all right, my beauties, now you know proper techniques to cleanse your face. And just remember to always wash your hands before you touch your face and cleanse for at least 45 to 60 seconds, one to two times a day, every day. You'll definitely notice your cleanser and any other products to really start to work better with your skin. And you'll notice your overall skin health improve. And if you guys have any questions, like always, drop them in the comment section below or you can head over to my Instagram where you'll also receive daily tips and advice. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. And as always, I'm Zoya Day and this is Day's Beauty Room and we will see you in my next video.